In this video, I'm going to go over how you can set up a user interface for your Crew AI project. And since I've already written out the code, I'm going to show you how you can download this, install it, and edit it for whatever changes you made from the project that you were using in the previous video with the Google Colab project. And it's going to look a little bit like this, where you're going to enter your inputs on this left sidebar you see right here, where it asks you about the main topic. And then once you run your Crew AI project, you're going to get the results with this output. Now, it's fairly simple, but I still think it's a clean look and it's going to look a lot better than just running it on the terminal. So in case you're trying to show this to someone, present this, it'll give it that much more of a professional look and it'll be that much closer to being a finished prototype product. So let's go ahead and get started. So for this walkthrough, you're going to need Visual Studio Code. If you haven't downloaded it, you can go ahead and download it from the Visual Studio Code website. It's completely free. Once you open a Visual Studio Code, you're going to go to File and then you're going to click open folder. This is where you're going to open the directory or rather select the folder for the project that you're going to be working on. As you can see here, there's just a blank folder and that's completely fine. So let's go ahead and click that open. So now here on VS Code, you're going to get some options. We're going to select right here where it says get started with Python development and just click Python 3.12. Now just a quick note, I've been working with Python even before using Visual Studio Code. So you might have to install Python on your machine if you haven't already done so. But that's a simple step as well. All you have to do is Google Python installation and then just click here, download Python, and you'll be able to run the latest version. You might not need this. It might be something that's included with VS Code, but just a note in case you get an error while you're doing this step. And here in your studio where you see this dot VENV, that'll mean that your virtual environment is ready. So what you're gonna do from this step is you're gonna download the code that I created for the front end of your career AI project. And the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna navigate to the GitHub link that I'm gonna leave in the description. This is where the code is stored for the project that you saw earlier in the introduction. Once you open up this GitHub page, you're gonna go to this right button here that says code, and you're gonna click this copy URL to clipboard command. From here, you're gonna to return to your VS code. You're gonna to go to the top, go to terminal, new terminal, and this is where you get access to the command line interface within VS code. From here, you wanna make sure you, that you have Git installed in your computer. So for this, you're just gonna do git dash dash version. Again, if this command doesn't work or it gives you an error, all you have to do is navigate to download Git. And from here, you go to the Git page and download and install Git to your machine. So once we verified Git on our machine, we're going to do the command that is Git space clone. And then here we're going to paste the URL that we copied from GitHub. So what this is going to do is it's going to download the code to your machine from GitHub. So you'll have access to it. Once you've downloaded the code, you're going to move into that directory using the CD command that just stands for change directory. So you're just going to type CD space and then you're going to start typing the name of the folder. Here we can just type stream. You can press tab and it will auto fill it for you, as you can see right here, and then press enter. So as you can see here, we're already inside the folder that has the files for our project. You can also see it up here. The folder is called Streamlit Research Crew and it has these files within it. These are the ones we downloaded. And then you can check in the command line by just typing ls and enter. So now inside our project folder, we do need to install a couple more things in order to get our project to run. So first we're gonna run a poetry command in order to install all of the dependencies for the Crea project. And this command is just gonna be poetry install dash no root. And this is gonna start pulling all of the requirements for the project from this file right here that you see called pyproject.toml. Again, if you type this command in and you get an error or you get something that says that the command does not exist, you are gonna have to go ahead and install poetry into your machine. I'm gonna link in the description a couple of tutorials that I made for installing this in your machine, both for Mac and for Windows users. And if you plan on doing career development in the future, I definitely recommend that you look into those sections of the tutorials so that you can keep using poetry in the future. After this, we're gonna install a couple more things, including pip install crew AI. After this, we're gonna do pip install crew AI tools. And last, we're gonna do pip install Python decouple. We also need to install Streamlit, so let's go ahead and do pip install Streamlit. After you do these installations, we're going to go ahead and verify that Streamlit is running by using the following command. The command is going to be streamlit space streamlit app.py. That is the name of the file that runs the Streamlit application and you're just going to press enter. So what this can do is it's going to open up a window on your browser showing the interface of a Create project that is already that was already created through the code that you're running on VS Code. As I mentioned earlier, these are your fields where you're going to enter the text and then you're going to click 
run research. If we do this right now, it's gonna fail because we haven't added our API keys, but I just want to show you how simple it would be for you to get started on running this template project. And then right now I'm gonna move on to show you how you can take the changes that you made in the earlier Google Colab project so that you can fine tune this to fit the needs of the application that you're trying to create. So before you can continue, if you wanna edit anything on your code, you're gonna have to stop the stream that application. As you can see here, it says that it's running. In order to stop it, all you have to do is type control C and it'll shut down the project. So the main changes that you're gonna to want to make in order to get this project to run with your credentials is you're gonna to go to this file right here, that underscore the streamlit underscore app dot pi file. And right here in line six and seven is where you're gonna enter between the quotations, your API key for OpenAI as well as for Serper. And if you read through this file, you start to see that what's written on here is what's being displayed on your streamlit application front end. Here we see enter research details and just as well here we see enter research details. So pretty much any text you edit here on your code when you save it and run it again is going to be what changes on the display of your user interface on this side. There's a ton of different things you can do with streamlit and if you've been using ChatGPT to code you'll be able to customize this file very quickly and tune it to your own needs. Now if you watched the previous video and you customized your Core AI project for a different need other than a researcher or an analyst and a writer you can still edit those changes and put them into this project by simply editing the files here on VS Code. The structure still stayed the same. The only thing that changed was we added the new streamlit file in order to run the application on the web browser. But this file still has pretty similar structure to the one that you were working on on Google Colab. So if there are any changes that you've made to your agents from the previous project, all you have to do is go to the agents.py file on your VS Code and you can just copy and paste the changes you made here either in the role, goal, or backstory. And same thing goes for the tasks.py. It's still structured the same way. So any changes you made on your own project or on other versions that you may have, you can just copy and paste them here. Make sure you save it. And whenever you run this, you'll be able to see results based on the needs of your crew. And again, I just want to mention one more time. If there are things that you want to edit from the appearance of your streamlit application, you would do this on the streamlit app.py file, whether it's what the headings say, the description of the boxes, or whether you want to try different elements for your UI. This can be the place for you to customize that for to run with your Core AI project. So now you have a Core AI project that not only were you able to customize to fit your current needs, but now it has a web browser front end. So next steps, we're gonna work on deploying this so that it's not just running on your machine, but actually online. I understand sometimes these installations can seem a little bit overwhelming or a little bit complicated. So if you run into any issues, let me know in the comments. I do have more in-depth tutorials related to running these kind of programs on Mac machines as well as on Windows. And I try my best to be as clear and concise as possible when it comes to running and installing these repositories. But I understand sometimes we're still gonna run into issues. I'm really excited to getting you that much closer to finalizing your Core AI projects. And if you guys have any consulting needs or technical questions, you're always more than welcome to booking a one-on-one. -on -one. I have the Calendly link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.